goosebumps. I don't really have a way to describe it other than that. Watching the Star Wars Squadrons trailer gave me chills. The hair on my arm stood up on ends. I love Star Wars. It's my favorite thing without question. My love of it goes back to the first time I saw the films. We rented the movies from a little video store in Westport, Massachusetts, and my mom and I watched all three of the original trilogy that day when we got home. And I watched them probably another ten times in the ensuing week. From that point forward, it was all-encompassing. I've read the books. I rolled dice in the original West End role-playing game, collected the toys, traded cards in the trading card game, and even read the comics. I've been to Star Wars Celebration twice. I've seen George Lucas and Dave Filoni hold court when discussing the Clone Wars, and I've been to the former Star Wars weekends numerous times at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I love Star Wars. And of course, I love and I played the video games. From the original Star Wars arcade game, going back to the 16-bit adventures of Luke Skywalker and Super Return of the Jedi, going back in time to the Old Republic to decide if I'm going to go to the light side or the dark side of the Force in Knights of the Old Republic, fighting Lego versions of Darth Vader and General Grievous, or stepping into the shoes of Cal Kestis with Jedi Fallen Order. I have loved my time being in and playing in this universe. But of all the games, some of the ones I've enjoyed the most were the X-Wing and TIE Fighter series. Whether it was playing X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter at the Cyber Cafe I worked at after high school, to late night sessions at EA when we were waiting on new builds to ship NASCAR 04 for PC, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter has been a constant source of enjoyment. In fact, I just bought the games through GOG a few weeks ago when they had their huge Star Wars sale on May the 4th. So when Electronic Arts announced they were debuting Star Wars Squadron, I was excited. I watched their initial reveal trailer and I thought it was great. When I saw the gameplay trailer yesterday, I was even more excited. Hera was there from Rebels. There was an Ewok bobblehead in the cockpit. You can pilot a U-Wing. There's a ton of love and care put into this, and I can already tell that from the trailer. Added to the fact there's going to be PSVR support, and I was sold. It's going to be a day one purchase for me. And honestly, I'm probably going to buy whatever collector's edition they reveal too. But what's exciting without some baseless speculation, right? Let's talk about some it'd be cool if things I would hope to see in the game. They've established via the trailer that the game is going to have eight ships available. The X-Wing, A-Wing, Y-Wing, and U-Wing on the New Republic side. And on the Imperial side, you can choose from TIE Fighters, Interceptors, Bombers, and Reapers. Now, all of those are awesome, no doubt. But I would like to see a few others added. You know, on the Republic side, you could add a B-Wing. And it'd be real easy on the Imperial side to add the TIE Advance, this Vader ship. You can go crazy and add things like the Ghost of the Falcon, and while those are great, I think those would probably be better suited for the single-player campaign rather than trying to keep the online game balanced by adding all these special ships in. Now, dogfights look wonderful, and fleet battles are going to be a three-part fight, and I wouldn't change any of that. But I am hoping that we see some objective-based games added as well. Escort missions and the like actually work really well in flight combat games, and I enjoyed them in the X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter series. I'd also like to see some scenarios pulled from the films and the TV series. I think it'd be awesome to play that final space battle from Rogue One as either the Imperial or the, Re or the Rebel side. And I think we could probably even add the Razor Crest into something too to give the Mandalorian a little bit of love. Customizing your character and your ship is going to be a big part of the game as well, as I kind of hinted at with the Ewok bobblehead earlier. We did see a few examples of this. You'll be able to change the appearance of your ship. I'm hoping we get something like the 501st color scheme with the blue and white, uh, or maybe even some of the graffiti designs from Sabine Wren on Rebels. I am encouraged as well by the customization of your pilot. We've seen Celestins, Twi'leks, Trandoshans, and humans, but I hope we get some other species offered as well. Zabrix, Mon Calamari, Rodians, Bothans. Anything that could add some personality to the game would be excellent. I'm encouraged by the different flight suit customizations that you can use as well. And I think a really neat thing to add would be to give little patches or badges to the suits to represent the completions of particular battles. Or maybe even stickers to add to the outside of your ship to show what battles you fought in. Now, like I said, we don't know much about the game yet. We've only got two trailers about it, but I am encouraged. Visually, it looks stunning, and I'm excited for the possibilities it offers. Just being able to sit in the cockpit of an X-Wing in virtual reality and look around is a dream come true for me. But to take that a step farther and actually do a combat scenario in VR has me so excited I can't express how much it's got my mind racing. The possibilities are endless for this game, and I can't wait to play it. That's it for this one, guys. I know it's a bit of a short one, but, you know, the trailer's been swimming around in my head for 24 hours, so I just kind of wanted to get this out there for y'all. Let me know below in the comments what you're excited about with the game and if there's anything you want to see added to it. And if the Star Wars Squadrons game doesn't do anything for you, was there anything announced at EA Play yesterday that makes you excited? 
Skate 4 is a big deal. That's no joke. And there's some other stuff announced as well, like bringing more games to the Switch. Finally. Do consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and while you're at it, ring the notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'm Jay, and you stay square.